In this video, you're going to see how real Mongolian nomads living way out in the countryside react to eating American candy for the first time. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Sonny, you went to a Hollywood movie set. These are not real Mongolians or they're not actually nomadic. Uh, <laughs> I just want to prove to you guys that we are in Mongolia. We are cooking the national dish. This is my dude. This very far from candy. It's a whole goat body. They've charred all the hair off. It's stuffed with meat and inside it's cooking with stones. We're not going to show that today. Let's move on. All right. We have our first candy right here. Cry babies. Extra sour. You'll only cry for 40 seconds. Stay with it. Hello, sir. This is the grandpa, the man of the house. Have you ever had chewing gum? Okay. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, of course you did. Okay. I'm being accidentally condescending. So right here, we have something called a crybaby. This is a gum. It's a very sour gum. I want him to try it, but I want him to be very honest. Good, good. It's good. Really? No reaction. Yeah. What is this? Huh? You will only cry for 40 seconds? Look at this man. Do you see tears? Unbelievable. For most people, it's too yeah. sour. How about you? Do you want to try? Normally, I would say don't take candy from strangers. All right, let's see if she feels the same. There's no way she could be acclimated to the sourness like he is. Uh oh, there it is. She said it's good. It, huh? Is she sure? If she doesn't like it, she can say she doesn't like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. She likes it. This is going to be an epic reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first candy. Let's try another one. America's number one cinnamon candy. These have a bit of a spicy, cinnamony flavor to it. Another volunteer. This is the grandma of the house here. Have you ever had something spicy and tastes like cinnamon? Uh, we don't have cinnamon here. All right, so this is going to be something new for be, sure. All right, so this is the hot tamale. And then she can just take a couple out and try like two. And this is not gum. This one is just a normal candy. Goy. Goy. <laughs> really? Everyone says goy. What does it taste like? Seems fruit. Like fruit? Now she stays in the spicy part. Ah, yeah. Do you want one more? I can eat two in it. Okay, one more, then that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too spicy. I'll eat some. Here, give some to me. Oh. <laughs> She's like, here, eat ten. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is this a candy you would try again? No! <laughs> so what do you not like about it? Her tongue goes numb, so... My tongue's a little numb right now, too. But it's okay. Oh, she's so polite. It's very nice. I will never eat it again. Thank you so much. Did you want to try? Oh, All right, try it out. She's like waiting for some sudden attack on her mouth. Uh-oh. <laughs> we found one. <laughs> she tries to give it back. <laughs> That's okay. You tried it. I knew this might be a little bit extreme for them. Will she trust me to try one more that I think is really good? <laughs> okay. This is the final food I'm going to be doing here at this yurt, the orange slices. <laughs> and she does not trust me, does she? No, she does. She does. Okay, she took a bite at half one because she's still regaining some trust. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's delicious. Mandarin. Mandarin. If you have to choose between the first one or this one, which one do you like more? <laughs> okay. She still feels numb, but you know. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see what he thinks. Just like mine do. Between candy one and candy two, which one do you like more? This one right here. Does this taste like any candy you've had here in Mongolia? There should be similar, but you never had one. They keep eating it. It looks like they like it. Can I give this to you guys? Thank you for being a good sport and for trying it out and inviting us to your home today. We had a great time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Next, we're headed just outside of Mongolia's capital. These fine people are preparing sheep that'll become a traditional dish served at the annual Nadam festival. Before I try their dish, how about they try some candy? Right here, black licorice. Iba, yes. have you ever tried this before? I don't think so. Why don't you take a little taste down? Sure. I know you'll be honest with me. Iba grew up in Mongolia. He's a tour guide. He's a content creator. How's it taste? I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I'm very shocked to hear that. I don't know why, but it tastes good. We should say we're doing a video about the USA's worst candies. Yeah, that's <laughs> she grabs one, takes a bite. Maybe she'll like it anyways. I mean, Eva said he liked it. <laughs> Strange taste. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Something like soapy. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good description. Right here, we have the Smarties. Fat-free, gluten-free. Obviously, it's peanut-free. There's no peanut. It's sugar. Ma'am, please take one if you wish. All right, she takes one. Oh, really? the horse wants one. <laughs> kind of, she likes it. She likes it. Is that why she's closing it as tight <laughs> as possible? So she can never have it again. <laughs> People here are too nice. Even when I tell them it's a bad food. Thank you very much for trying it out. I'll try harder next time. Like that. <laughs> Horses try American candy for the first time. 50 million views. No? Okay.
Next, we're headed to the Gobi Desert to meet a family of camel herders. These guys have over 300 camels in their herd. They use them for meat and for milk, and they fed me both. Now it's my turn to give them a little treat and see what they think of American candy. Oh, shit. Oh, I just stepped in actual shit. <sighs> Right here, we have both of our hosts in the Gobi Desert. They have all their camels behind them. I have the candy right here. Marshmallow Circus Peanuts. Gonna give it a try for the first time. All right, so they both just tried it out. Got a mmm from her. Really good. Really good. Hold on, can I try one of those? Not bad, it does not taste like peanuts. What does it taste like? It's like a chewing gum. That's absolutely right. Hold on, did you want to try some? Can the camel eat this? <laughs> what is he doing? Wait, what? Okay, I was just joking, guys. You don't have to feed it. Oh my god, he's gonna feed candy to a camel. <laughs> <laughs> it is chowing down on it. It loves the candy. Yeah. Soon the camel realized, hey, this is pretty good stuff. Now that the camel is addicted to sweets, you can have this. This is my gift. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't thank me. You have a candy-dependent camel now. All right, I have one more candy. Do you want to try one more? Okay, let's try one more. Right here, we have our next candy from the Warheads brand. This is Ooze Chews. Fruity flavors, sour, chewy candy candy filled with sour ooze. Do you like sour flavors? That's a familiar taste. That is true. As long as I've been here, I've seen people drink a lot of sour cream, sour milk. They like sour. So let's see how they react to the Warheads level of sour. <laughs> All right, bust it open. Now this candy, I've had Warheads, but I've never had this type of Warhead. Ah, you gotta love it. Packaging with even more packaging. There we go. Trying it at the same time. Mm, really good. Oh, someone's jealous over here. What'd you say? What does it taste like? It's a Haribo. It tastes like Haribo. Oh, Haribo. The uh, popular candy in Mongolia. Don't read the ingredients. It's all just chemicals and stuff. <laughs> Each color has different tastes. Do these taste like any fruits that you know? Uh, strawberry. Oh, like strawberry. Which one do you like more? The first candy or the second candy? She liked the first one. Okay, and then which one does he like more? <laughs> you like the first one? This one? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Thumbs up? All right, fantastic. <laughs> On to the next yurt. Next, we're traveling to southern Mongolia. Here, a badass 62-year-old woman lives by herself and maintains a herd of over 300 goats and sheep. She cooked up and fed us a local dish, meat cooked inside a sheep's tail. Now it's her turn to try my traditional food. Hello. You want to take some out and try it out? This is a candy, but it's not a candy that everyone loves. We really want your honest opinion. If you don't like it, that's okay. Oh, that face says it all. Yeah. She can't say whether she likes it or not. The Truman. She says it's good. Really? Are you sure she's not just being polite? No, she's being honest. Does it taste like any candy? Oh, what? She's just saying, can I finish it? Yeah, please. Does it taste like any candy? Does it taste like anything you've had? <laughs> Does it taste like any candy you've had before? It doesn't taste like candy. Yeah, it tastes like an accident in a freaking candy factory. I don't know why these exist. Here we have the Hubba Bubba, our main host, and her two friends. I'm going to give it to her and see what she does with it. Here you go. There we go. She eats a little bit. I think they may not know that it's gum yet. A friend tries some. Her other friend tries some. Do they know what it is? Is it, is it the candy or chewing gum? Oh, it is a chewing gum. Oh my God, what a fail. I should add this out of the video. I, I didn't know they knew bubble gum. Have you ever had a bubble gum that's shaped like this? <laughs> Never seen before. Ah, see? Taste is similar. Shh, 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 shh. It's unique. Taste is unique. No, the, sh the shape, the shape is, <laughs> the shape is unique. Overall, between the first candy and this candy, which one do you like more? <laughs> this is better. And do you think it's very useful to have a whole one meter of gum? <laughs> <laughs> She's wondering yeah, if it can reach one meter. <laughs> yeah, pull it all the way out. Yes. See, that's definitely over a meter. Oh, now what? Now you have to eat it all. <laughs> it's too late. You can't put it back. <laughs> oh, she. <laughs> it's like, I didn't mention this. This woman has literally won awards for braiding camel hair into rope at record speeds. I believe in her ability to now roll up a little bit of bubble gum. Ladies, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. All right. Bye bye. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. People here are kind of thankful for any type of gift. It's very unlikely that they're going to eat something and be like, oh, this is crap. What is this? So everybody was very open minded. And I could tell that sometimes they didn't like it, but they look at me, they're like, he looks sad. I'll go along with it just for him so he doesn't jump off a bridge. Bye.
Goy. <laughs> it is always fun to provide some new experiences and get their feedback and kind of see what they think of flavors that they've never had before. I hope you enjoyed this video. For me, it was super fun. I'd love to do it again. If you like these videos, let me know what other candies I should show people or what other countries or tribes I should visit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. A peace. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our Street Food Around the World Graphic Tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.